Folks, can you guess what kind of car this is? This is a Toyota Yaris. It is a manual transmission car. Standard transmission. I don't know how many of you out there know how to drive a manual transmission. But I will tell you. But for me, it's one of the most fun things to do. I learned how to drive one uh, when I was 18 years old. This happens to be uh, my stepdaughter's car. But that's why you see the disco ball here. Yeah. Uh, but man, these things are fun to drive. So, in this video I want to talk about, uh, basically, internet talking versus face-to-face -face talking. Now, I have a, a ring doorbell, right? A ring doorbell camera. And along with that camera, when you get it, if you sign up for the membership and all that, there is a Ring doorbell community, a neighborhood community where you can uh, sign up for Ring alerts and postings in your local neighborhood, which my wife and I have, and um, we feed feral cats that come around, and one of the cats, their leg is hurt, and so we reached out to people on this app to see if anybody knew anything about it or wanted to help out in any which way shape or form 90% of the feedback we got was positive kind um, helpful but then there's 1% that and you know the ones I'm talking about they're like oh god this is the second time you've posted about this Please get this cat some help. Good God. You know, I mean, as if... It's just, there's nothing helpful in that. And so, I responded something to the effect of, I see you're counting our posts. We appreciate your viewership. Please like and subscribe for more. You know, basically making fun of them and throwing it back in their face. And uh, they got really angry, upset. They said I was bullying them. They said they won't stand to be cyber bullied. <laughs> <clears throat> so in which case I pointed out that I wasn't bullying them, that they came on rude, not helpful. They didn't offer anything, just negativity. And I asked them, is this how you speak to people in everyday life? Because I sincerely doubt that they would say that to my face, the way they spoke in the uh, comment. And they assured me that yes, they would say that in real life. Okay, right. <laughs> in any case, in any event, that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. People. This internet has basically created the keyboard warrior. Someone who is not, has no fear of the repercussions of what they say. Like you wouldn't walk up to someone on the street. Like for example, all right, say um, you feel like maybe you hate Donald Trump. And you'll go on to a Donald Trump post on the internet, someone who's pro-Trump, 
and call them an idiot. Say, you're an effing idiot. Blah, 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 blah. You'll say that in a comment section on a Facebook post that's pro-Trump. But I'll bet you dollars to donuts that if you saw one, someone walking down the street with a MAGA hat or a Trump 2024 t-shirt, you wouldn't go up to them and call them an effing idiot to their face. I bet you you would not. You see what I'm saying here? This internet has really created this type of monster. And it's especially true with the younger folks. Because then in turn, this created uh, what I guess some people would call a libtard is one derogatory term. Uh, a Karen is another derogatory term. Where someone is just totally unreasonable, out of control, screaming, yelling, just like they would on a Facebook post, typing in all caps. Crazy stuff, folks, crazy stuff. I have found that the best way to communicate with someone is face to face. That's why I do workshops. That's why I Immediately, if someone wants to learn this from me, if someone wants to speak with me, I immediately direct it towards a video consultation. Because even though that's not like literally in person face to face, it is sort of face to face. And people are not going to, how do you say it? They're not going to clown you most times in those uh, scenarios. Unless they are a clown, then they will clown you. And I've definitely had that before. But not very many times. So that's why I automatically direct anyone who's serious to those venues. Because I am aware that there are people out there who are products of the internet. They don't want to look at you face to face. They don't want to look at you eye to eye. And they certainly don't want to hear your voice. And for you to hear their voice... They would just rather keep it behind the keyboard, behind the screen, behind the nom de guerre, and they can say whatever the hell they want to with no accountability. But when you're out here in the real world, there is accountability. And you have to be held accountable for your words. There, there's lots of different things that you can think of. Say, you know, call a certain individual a certain racial slur. The appropriate reaction or the appropriate response would not be violence, but I mean, common sense, logic, what they call street smarts would tell you, you probably shouldn't do that. It's better to be kind, considerate, and probably keep your mouth shut about certain things, unless you're looking to get physically assaulted then whatever you know it is what it is uh, like Robert E. Howard uh, one of my favorite authors as a child growing up I read his Conan the Barbarian stories uh, to paraphrase something he once said he said civilized people are much worse than barbarians because civilized people because they don't have the threat of getting their skull split so they'll say whatever they want to say with uh, no fear of repercussions. But some folks don't act like that. Some folks don't follow that. Some folks aren't so civilized. For example, Sean Strickland, the MMA fighter. Um, Nick and Nate Diaz, Jorge Masvidal, Chael Sonnen. As cultured and as uh, well-spoken as Chael P. Sonnen is, one-on-one, two-on-one, three-on-one, five-on-one, they're all going to end up calling nine-one-one. That's Chael P. Sonnen for you. There's a story about Chael P. Sonnen last year in Las Vegas. He was at a UFC event. Chael Sonnen, by the way, if you don't know, is a was a, a mixed martial arts fighter. Undefeated, undisputed. In his mind. But last year at an event, 
he was doing announcing duties at an event in Las Vegas. He was there with his wife and uh, they were at the hotel and he was at the hotel room and his wife came to the, to the hotel room and said, I was trying to get ice and these five guys or five young men started saying ignorant things to me and were yelling at me and calling me names. Chael P. Sonnen immediately left the room, went down to their room that she said that they came from, knocked on the door and confronted them about it. They acted the same way towards him as they acted towards his wife. And in the end, what ended up happening is that those five men filed charges, assault charges against Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen being one man, and those being five young men, he beat the living snot out of those five men. So I guess the moral of this story is between internet uh, communication and real life com uh, communication, follow the three principles. Rule one, rule equal, balance of honor and grace, position of peace and neutrality. Be kind, be nice until it's time to not be nice. Thank you.